Hello? Harrison, I need your help. Dad, you keep forgetting. I'm a lawyer. You're the detective. Oh, come on, son. All I need is a ride. What could possibly happen? What if someone comes over? You're right. I'll bury him later. Where? Here. I think I can pull it off. Just take a deep breath. Oh, you'll be fine. Come on. Watch your step. Hi. Hi. Sorry we're late. Oh, no problem. Welcome to the neighborhood. Come on in, meet everybody. Excuse me, everybody. Can I have your attention for a moment? Our guests of honor have just arrived. This is Bob and Dana Byers. They've Bye. just bought the house next door. They're the ones with the scaffolding we're all trying to keep our kids off of. Here, I'd like you to meet Patty and Phil Holland. Hi, Hi. I'm Patty Holland. Hi, I'm Bill. We live four doors down. You're going to love this neighborhood. Everyone is so nice. And there's some wonderful stores right around the corner. The best part of it is we have the lowest crime rate in the city. <laughs> Our biggest problem is the Fillmore Flasher. And the police say he's harmless. <laughs> it's really very safe here. Good. We're glad to hear that. It's very important to us. Well, as a matter of fact, the reason we chose this neighborhood is one can't be too careful these days. <laughs> the second division moved in right here. And the armored was trying to get up this hill. But we were right here. You gotta be kidding, Harry. I was right there. I don't believe it. It's a small world, huh? <laughs> Who was that, Grandpa? German crack panzer division. And these were all bunkers with the biggest guns you ever did see. And what's that? That? It's my potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and nobody makes it any better than your mom, either. Well, Dad, I see you've met Mo already. Oh. Harrison, it is amazing. Your dad and I, we were both in the same outfit, in the same battle. Yeah. And we didn't even know each other. Uh, look, before you two guys replay the entire war, I'd like you to meet Bob and Dana Beyer. Oh. No, don't stand up, please. This right. is Mo Schmidt. He lives in a little blue house right behind mine. And uh, this is my father, Harry. He doesn't live in the neighborhood, but he seems to miraculously appear every time there's a buffet. <laughs> Why not, huh? <laughs> nice to meet you, and welcome. Thanks. Thanks. We're gonna love it here. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, hey, Mo, looks like you got a visitor. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing here? You weren't even invited. <laughs> hey, look. He's got somebody's car keys in his mouth. Hey, hey, hey. Give me those. Give me those. Hey. Hey, hey. Don't worry, don't worry. They'll bury him for a couple of days, then they'll dig him up and bring him back. He always does. Thanks for letting us use the coffee maker. Anytime, son. Hey, that was some party you had the other night. <laughs> I sure like your new neighbors. Yeah, they seem like real nice people. Hey, what's the occasion? Huh? I mean, the dark suit. Oh, I'm uh, going to a funeral. Oh, sorry. Who died? Duke Schmidt. Hey, you want to come with me? Uh, no, thanks, Dad. I don't really know that guy. Neither did I. Then why are you going? There was a message on my machine. The services are this morning at Heavenly Hill Cemetery. Can't turn down an invitation to a funeral. <laughs> Why not? I would if I didn't know the person. The only Duke I can think of is an insurance investigator I split a fee with about 78 years ago. That's got to be him. Look, you sure you don't want to come? No, thanks, Dad. I hate funerals. Yeah, so do I. Probably get it from me, huh? <laughs> oh, uh... idea how to go about tracking down a dog killer. 
Dad, Dad, what are you doing? I'm not sure. Ask him. Heal, Bruce. Heal. 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 Dad, are you sure you're going to be able to find out who poisoned Duke with this? No. I rented Bruce for a day, and I'll give it a shot. He's so cute. <laughs> Strong, too. Dad, that's really nice of you, but how are you going to go about it? With this. It was Duke's favorite. I got it from Mo. We're going to sniff around the neighborhood, follow Duke's old routine, see what happens. Hey. Ready, Ruth? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slow down. Easy, Bruce. Easy, easy, Bruce. Easy. Oh. Easy. Watch my leg. Oh. Oh. Hey, what do you got there, Bruce? Let's see. Hey. Well, all we need now is a game. Stuff in. Just what do you think you're doing? Oh, well, well Bruce... Oh, I didn't... Uh, no. I don't know where this is getting this, Bruce, but I think I've had enough. Mr. Fox. Huh? Up here. Oh, uh, hi. It's a nice dog you've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's not mine now. I, uh, I rented him for a case I'm working on. Now, come on, Brucey. Got to get your back. Rates go up after five. Come on. Hey, we hope we're not intruding. Oh, no. Uh, we just wanted to thank you for that lovely party last night. Oh, oh you shouldn't have. That's so nice. Let's we'll open it tonight. Are you sure you don't want to join us? Oh, no, no. We've already made plans, but thanks. Hey, hey you know, I, I, I saw your father today with that old bloodhound. Not you, too. He didn't dig up your yard, did he? We've been on the phone with our neighbors explaining. Oh, no, he didn't do anything. We're just wondering, what is he up to? <laughs> well, believe it or not, he's working on a case. Yeah, do you remember Mo Schmidt's dog? Oh, uh, yeah? He was poisoned. Oh, no. No. My father's just trying to figure out who did it. This is just great. How could this happen? The police don't suspect a thing. Nobody even knows he's missing, and now the neighbor's father is snooping around. I told you, we should have left the dog alone. We couldn't. Now, look, he would have dug up those keys, and they're the only thing that can tie us to the murder. Well, how do we know Fox and his bloodhound won't find them anyway? Because I'm not going to let them. I don't know about that dog of yours, Mo. He must have swiped everything in the neighborhood that wasn't nailed down. Not swiped, Harry. Borrowed. He would have brought it all back eventually. Hey, look. This is Mike Salter's baseball mitt. He's been looking everywhere for it. Isn't that my sneaker? I wondered where it went. <laughs> well, Dad, did uh, finding all this stuff tell you anything? Only that the Duke was a very busy dog. He really got around. 
You know, maybe people didn't like him digging up their yards, but that's a long way from poisoning him. Anything else you can do, Harry? Well, if there is, I can't think of it. How much do I owe you? I'll send you a bill for the dog rental and we'll be even. I better take all this stuff back to its owners. Yeah. Well, that's not going to be as easy as you think, Father. <laughs> hey, it's like Tracy Winter's old gardening glove. That's right, Mom. And this looks like Mr. Winston's hammer. Now, listen, Josh, uh, since you seem to know more about all of this stuff than anybody else, how about if I hire you to take it all back, uh, 50 cents an item? It's a deal! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Keep him up. On the hood. Spread him. Call in, Pete. Tell him we finally caught the Fillmore Flasher. You have to understand. You come very close to answering the Flasher's description. Look, uh, we're sorry, Mr. Fox, but it was an honest mistake. We'll keep an eye on the neighborhood in case that burglar decides to come back. Thank you, officer. Good night. Oh. What happened? Someone broke in and Harrison chased him into the park. 
think anything? Well, you're not going to believe this, but when I came downstairs, he was going through the garbage that you and that dog dug up. Oh. He took something. I couldn't see what it was. Thank you, sweetie. This is getting crazy. Yeah, why would anyone break in to get at all this junk? Well, maybe Mo was right. Somebody murdered his dog for a reason. Look what they took. The car keys from Bay City Rentals. The license was on the tag. One PCE324. What's that? The inventory I took of all Duke's stuff. A basic detective procedure. <laughs> okay, partner. I'll check it out in the morning. <laughs> One PCE-324. Yep, that's ours, all right. What about it? Well, I'm a private investigator. I'd like to see the rental agreement. Oh, sure, you can see it. For 60 bucks. 60 bucks? Two days rental. His credit card was over the limit. Whose credit card? Uh-uh-uh. That's gonna cost you 60 bucks. Give me 20. 60. 25. 60, and that's firm. <clears throat> 30. You got it. Plus another 80 for the dashboard. What dashboard? The one this person ripped out when he hotwired the car and dumped it at Hunter's Point. If it was a heat. 80 plus the 30, that makes 110. Take it or leave it. Look, I know a guy who rebuilt a whole car for 50. Sold. <laughs> Don't spend it all the charm school. Ralph Alcott, Hartford Hotel. Yeah, we know that, Claire. That's why we're making it. You told us that. I hope you guys like him. It means a lot to me. Oh. Of course we'll like him. We always like your boyfriend. Except for that. Oh, yeah. Oh. But Michael's different. He's special. <laughs> this could be the one. <laughs> Where's your backup chicken? Backup chicken? Yeah, in case anything goes wrong. Claire. We have made this dish upwards of a dozen times. I think we only burnt it once or twice, didn't what? we? What? Harrison? Oh, I'm oh. <laughs> Believe me, everything is going to be just fine. And we'll make a very good impression. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big impression. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. I can always count on you. What time did you tell him to come? I don't know. Oh, how about 7.30? No, that's too early. 8.30. That's too late. 7.45. 8 o'clock. 8.15. I think any time around then will be fine. Claire will be ready. Claire, the best thing you can do right now is go home. Relax. <sighs> You're right, Cindy. That's good advice. Thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you tonight. Yeah, bye. bye. My goodness, what am I going to wear? My red dress or my black skirt? Claire, either one will be fine. I'll bring them both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No harm, no foul. You need a little more lift. I used to drive my brothers crazy. I was better at this than they were. Here, try that. See you. Bye. Bye.
doing down here, huh? How'd you get in here, huh? The window was open. My glider flew in. I rang the doorbell, but no one answered. What are you doing with this? I stepped on wet cement. I was just trying to fix it. Hey, Josh, I'm sorry, you know? It's, uh, it's just that I've spent so much time patching up this floor. It was an accident. Sure it was. Hey, now you wipe your feet. That guy. Now you use the front door this time. How about that? Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, can I have my glider back? Sure. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Trace those car rental keys. They belong to a private investigator from Boston by the name of Ralph Olcott. Really? A missing private investigator. How do you know he's missing? Well, his car was found abandoned and hot wired. He never checked out of his hotel room. When I called the agency in Boston, they said that Olcott hasn't reported in for days. Oh, well, come on, Dad. You've disappeared on cases before. You haven't heard the most interesting part. The case he was working on. Olcott was looking for a couple who conned a millionaire out of $750,000. So? <laughs> you want to hear the description? I don't think so. Male, Caucasian, 35 years old, medium build, brown hair, blue eyes. Female, Caucasian, 30, 5 foot 6, medium build, blonde hair, blue eyes. With an oval-shaped birthmark on her right hand. I don't get your point. Don't they sound familiar? Your new neighbor is the buyers. What? Did you notice her hand? No, as a matter of fact. Uh, Dad, lots of people have birthmarks. <laughs> Where you come up with that stuff? Well, think about it. He just bought an expensive house. He's putting all kinds of money into it. What, does he have a job? I mean, what does he do? Dana said he's a writer. Oh, Dad, this is ridiculous. I suppose they have the missing investigator hidden away in the closet. I bet they've got him buried in the basement. Oh, Josh. What are you talking about? No, I mean it. My glider flew in the window, and when I climbed down to get it, I stepped in wet cement. Wet cement? Oh, come on, Dad. They're fixing up their house. You go out of here looking for a set of car keys, and you come back accusing our neighbors of being murderers. Oh, I'm so wrong, huh? Describe the guy you chased last night. I told you. Yeah, and it sure sounded like Bob. Or any number of other people. We gotta keep an eye on them. Watch oh, their every no, move. No, we don't have to do anything of the sort. They're such a nice couple, Dad. Look, those two are up to something, and I'm gonna find out what. <laughs> shouldn't have left the window open. Cement had to dry. Don't worry, the kid has no idea. No, I don't like this. We we're supposed to move to San Francisco, we we're gonna blend into the neighborhood, and that would be that. Now it's all falling apart. No, it isn't. Look, I got the keys back, nothing's gonna happen. It was a good plan, and it still is. Here. Dana, we're not going to run anymore. What about the nosy detective? He doesn't know anything. He'll give up. And what if he doesn't? What are you going to do, kill him too? <laughs> You're ugly <laughs> too. <laughs> Michael, you, you want some more chicken? Uh, no, thank you. You don't like it? I, I think three helpings is probably enough. Well, it was wonderful, Cindy. Everything is. Oh, where do you taste the dessert? Apple tart a la Harrison? Yes, and with a special wine that I bought just for this occasion. Uh. <laughs> it, did you hear that? It sounds like there's a wild man driving out there. It couldn't be. Wanna bet? Excuse me. Hey, nice timing, son. What are you doing, Dad? 
My friend Shark loaned me all his electronic equipment. You know, you can, uh, you can hear through cement with this thing. I'm gonna get them. Dad, what is that thing? Oh, this? Oh, no. Suction cup. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, won't, uh, that won't hurt anything. Well, look, whatever it is, you can't use it now. We're in the middle of a dinner party here. Oh, I forgot. Well, look, I won't bother anybody. I'll, uh, I'll just run in and say hi, and that's the last you'll hear from me. Come on. Dad, what a surprise. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, your table looks gorgeous. <laughs> and you too, Claire, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Harry, I'd like you to meet my friend Michael, Michael Harry Fox. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Dad, you want to join us? Uh, no, no, thanks. I just ate. Well, look, I didn't mean to disturb you. Uh, go on with your beautiful dinner. I, uh, I'm going to set up a bug on your neighbors. Bug? Uh, a listening device. They got a couple of murders living next door. Murderers? Why does he do this? My father-in-law's a detective. Sometimes he just gets carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some wine, please? Oh, sure. Hey, listen, there's no uh, outlet out there. You got one in here? Uh, no. Huh? Oh. Oh, oh, here's one here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad. Oh, look, I didn't mean to disturb you. You won't even know I'm here. <laughs> I think you've done quite enough eavesdropping for one night. From here, anyway. <laughs> I'll, uh... Let me try something else. Yeah. Dad, I don't know what you're planning to do, but you're gonna get into lots of trouble if you start bothering those people. Me? Oh, come on, Harrison. Now, when have you ever known me to bother anybody? Ready to go? Just let me get my coat. It's Harry Fox. What does he want? I don't know, but he's getting to be a problem. Disturbing you, Bob. Well, we were just leaving. Well, I just like a minute of your time. Oh, what's this about? Well, I don't know whether Harrison or Cindy told you, but I'm a private investigator. And, uh, well, I hate to admit this, but I'm looking for a dog killer. <coughs> oh, is this bothering you? Let me put this out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look what you've done here. You've really fixed the place up, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is really nice. 
Oh, yeah, we heard about Mr. Schmidt's dog. What a shame. What was it you wanted to talk to us about? Well, it's just that I think I know who did it. Really? Who's that? Well, I shouldn't say I know. Rather, I, I've got a pretty good idea. And I was hoping you two nice people might help me clear up a few things. Sure. Well, thanks for everything. It was wonderful. <laughs> Glad to have finally met you, Mike. That's been interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Thanks again. Oh, bye. Better get started. Yeah. neighborhood's really going downhill. First the Fillmore Flasher, and now a burglar. Next thing you know, they'll be putting more guys on our feet.
down there? There's nothing to explain. We came home and got a burglar in our house. The people next door were robbed last night, so we were nervous. I mean, imagine our horror when we realized we'd shot our own neighbor. That's uh, a lot of murders to hide. He's right. No, he's not. He's dead. Come on, come on. Hello. Dad, hi, what are you doing here? Ah, I went to the movies. Hey, you been to the Rialto lately? Uh they still pop their own popcorn. <laughs> it's too bad they show foreign films. I hate those sometimes. Then why'd you go? I was following Bob and Dana. Nothing came. Bad movie, nice walk. <laughs> oh, Cindy. That apple tart looks delicious. How big a feast do you want? Oh, no, I shouldn't. Hmm? Yeah. Look, <laughs> nobody's gonna believe you. I I don't break into houses. I'm not the type. Well, yeah, then what are you doing here? Come on. You're about to get shot climbing out an upstairs window. No, Bob, don't! Come in. Ah! What was that? Sounded like a shot. gotta show up sooner or later judging from the looks of their stuff they seem pretty normal hey what are we worried about anybody will be better than the last people who lived there <laughs> oh yeah i wonder what's in that trunk 